Let's go! Let's go! Bruh. I told y'all, man. Actually, I didn't get a chance to tell y'all, but I told y'all, man. And Saints fans, bro, you already know what it is, man. I told y'all every single time we have a streak, the Saints stop our streak. Every time the Saints have a streak, the Falcons stop their streak. That's how it's always going to be. That's how it's always been. They came into the game saying they was going to blow us out, bro. That It was just over with. They was going to blow us out. That we was trash. It's going to be the easiest game of the season. And oh my goodness, bro. We won the mother freaking game. Rivalries can go either way. I, how many times do people got to say that? This game, bro, is exactly how we played and the energy we played with is exactly what I'm used to from the Falcons. This whole season, they've been playing lackluster, like they're just coming to get a paycheck. This is what the freak I'm talking about. Every single person on the team, including the coaches, stepped up. Devondre Campbell, y'all know I've been saying this man has been trashed the whole season. This man finally tightened up, bro. He finally was in coverage doing right things, actually defending wide receivers. I don't know what the heck he was doing at one point. Um... Uh, I think they put him on somebody, but they ended up he ended up stopping him anyway. But Devondre Campbell actually stepped up. The man, I believe he got a sack. He got a couple of pass deflections. He made some good tackles. So, Devondre Campbell, you good with me right now, man. Good game. Way to step up. Way to play. Jack Crawford. Man, that man, Jack Crawford, has been trash this season, too. This man, that little chip block he did on Jared Cook, amazing. Jack Crawford stepped up. Mother freaking, um, and I'm looking for people that was like lackluster. Isaiah Oliver, even though Michael Thomas was up there going crazy, Michael Thomas had 13 receptions, 152 yards. Isaiah Oliver, great job, man. He made some nice plays, he made some good plays. I think Kendall Sheffield and what's that man? I forgot, I forgot what Wilson, something Wilson, Ray Wilson, they played tremendous, bro. The entire team played great. Special teams played great. Shout out to that Greyhound dude. I told you that, man, is probably the best special team dude in the game right now. Oh, my gosh, bro. This is what the freaking I'm talking about, man. They keep saying it's who that, who that, we that. Let's go, man. Dan Quinn, good job. And do you guys see the difference from the beginning of the season to now? Dan Quinn did a good job putting Raheem Morris secondary when they move all the coaches around. This is what I'm talking about. They should have been there in the first place. But Dan Quinn, this is the energy I'm talking about. The fact that he was hugging his players, getting high fives, jumping up in the air, celebrating after a field goal, celebrating after a touchdown, that's what the energy we need. You don't need to be on the sideline by yourself, standing away from everybody. Oh, this is what we need to do. No, you have to feel the bond of the players. The players say they love you. The fans is like, no, the players say they love you. And guess what? That bond showed on, on the field. This game, I, I don't care what y'all are talking about, Arthur Blank, oh, he's going to keep it for the rest of the season. I guarantee if we'd have lost this game, Dan Quinn would have been gone. Now, the players played for Dan Quinn in this game, and they balled out. The defense looked great, man. We freaking sacked Drew Brees. What was it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think, what, six? Because I think they had, Added up the point five together six times, and it tied Drew Brees for the most time he has ever been sacked in the game, bro. The New Orleans Saints. Oh, when the Saints go marching, they didn't march nowhere. They didn't even march down the field. Drew Brees, just like last time. Remember when Drew Brees had that streak when he had um a streak for the most passing touchdowns and uh without an interception. We stopped that some years ago. Now guess what, Drew Brees. This game, he did not freaking get a freaking touchdown this game. As a matter of fact, the whole team didn't get a touchdown this game. The defense balled out. The offense, the time of possession, even Freeman, when he came into the game, the time he was in the game, he actually made some freaking plays. He made some plays, man. Freeman actually had 10 carries for 38 yards, bro. 10 carries for 38 yards. Right, y'all be like, yo, that junk is trash. That's for what he did the type of plays and when it happened, that was great. Brian Hill, he came in, 20 carries, 61 yards. 
Good job, Brian Hill. Good job. Um, Calvin, really good job. My boy, Matt Ryan. I don't, I don't even want to talk about him right now because y'all know how I am about my boy, Matt Ryan. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all can say, oh, we need him to get out of here because that's that bull crap. That's people that, if you a Falcons fan and you don't like Matt Ryan, what is wrong with you? I understand big days was great. It was glory days. But guess what? Matt Ryan has accomplished more than Michael Vick in his career. And it's just facts. You can like the man. You can say Michael Vick. You like him as a person. You like him as a, you know what I'm saying? You like watching him more than you like watching Matt Ryan. But there's no doubt that statistically, Matt Ryan is the greatest quarterback in Falcon history. And that's just facts, man. Y'all can say what y'all want, but Matt Ryan has balled out. And y'all saw the stats before the game and all of the meetings. Drew Brees has 13 wins. Now Matt Ryan has nine wins against the Saints. Drew Brees got the 13. Matt Ryan has nine. They've been battling out. And I told y'all, shout out to Sean Payton, because he tried to tell his team that the record does not matter. They probably came into the game how we came into the Browns game last year. Like, oh, it's the Browns. We're going to win, whatever, whatever. They came into this game thinking that we was trash, that it's not a rivalry, that they was going to blow us out. And what happened? They got too cocky, and they got blown the F out themselves. And that's what I'm talking about. Cameron Jordan, the dude was non-existent. Uh, he was just looking up at the scoreboard the whole time like, bro, what the heck is going on? The offensive line played great, except for the, the – what, what's that dude there? The right guard, Jamon Brown or whatever. He got a couple of uh, flags. But that's what I'm talking about, man. We played more discipline in this game than we ever had. And that was great because it's a rival. We in a freaking crazy environment. It was wild, but I understand it was loud. Matt Ryan, for people, I understand, well, I don't understand why people don't like Matt Ryan, but people say Matt Ryan is not a leader. They're complete idiots, bro. I understand people having their opinion, but if you say Matt Ryan is not a leader, what the freak is wrong with you, bro? Like, are you serious? Matt Ryan came up there looking calm. He was like, bro, let's do this. Get the F over here. Get F and set, bro. He was doing it all over again. And my boy Matt Ryan ran for two first downs on coming off a sprained ankle injury. You telling you telling me he's not a baller, that he don't want to win, that he's not a winner? That he's not a quarterback, that we're not going to win nothing with Matt? Are you serious? This man came off a sprained ankle injury and went out there and ran for them touch first downs, man. Are you serious? He balled out. Now, that last interception, Marcus Williams, I would have threw that ball to him at him because it looked nice. But I'll just have to admit, that was a great play by Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams, y'all remember for the infamous hit stick with Stephon Diggs touchdown. But that was a, just a great play by Marcus Williams. So he, We underestimated his athleticism. That was a good pass by Matt, but it was even better play by Marcus Williams. So I have to give Marcus Williams credit on that. But the entire team stepped up this game. I think uh, Julio Jones, three receptions, 79 yards. He didn't get a touchdown. But my boy Austin Hooper, four receptions, 17 yards in the touchdown. My boy Austin Hooper, man. I wish he would have stayed in the whole game. But that touchdown in the back of the end zone was so nice. I think Austin Hooper, I don't know if Mark Andrews or Austin Hooper has the most touchdowns for a tight end right now in the league. But Mark Andrews freaking goes off, man. That, that dude is nice over there with the Ravens. But Austin Hooper is that dude, man. I'm glad to see them throw to him in the red zone. Like they did my boy Tony G. Now, of course, Hooper is not Tony G, but I believe Hooper, he can play. He He's he's athletic. I think he's more athletic than Tony G. Tony G is a Hall of Fame. He already, you know, you already know what I'm talking about. But my boy Austin Hooper went out and did good. This dude, Blake, number 13, he came in, made some crucial third down catches for us. First down, Brian Hill, first down. Calvin Ridley, he, he did okay. Russell Gage came in, he stepped up, man. Everybody in their mama, the entire team, from Olacon, Oliver, Campbell, Sheffield, Allen, Beasley, Ray Wilson, Deion Jones, Casey Garrett, Pat McKinley, he didn't get no sacks this game, but he had some good pressure hurting. You know what I'm saying? I know he wanted that sack this game. I know he wanted it. I know he wanted it. I want him to have it because you already know what it is. And guess who also got a sack this game? Mother freaking Big Beasley, bro. That sack on that fourth down, bro, that had me a – that was, like, the most hype the whole game, bro. I, like, I stood up in my life. I was like, yeah. Like, like, it felt like I was at the game, man. It, it was a great feeling because this is the energy I've been talking about that we have been missing. This is the Falcons I'm used to. The coaches, the team, 
everybody's supposed to have a bond. It's not just supposed to be like we're taking these these, these group of guys, putting them together, and throw them out there and call it a brotherhood. They actually play it like it's a brotherhood. They actually play it like they wanted to do something. This is what we need to keep going, man. Now, can we go nine to seven? It's possible. It's very possible. People, I like. I've been looking at comments all over the internet talking about, oh, this is an easy win for the scene. I'm like, bro, do y'all not know how this works? It's a rival game. When was the last time the Saints like really blew blowing us out? Besides when the dome first opened up, uh, after Katrina, the Saints don't blow us out. We don't blow them out. It don't happen like that. If y'all want to talk last year, well, like two touchdowns or whatever. I, everybody knows that three touchdowns is a blowout. We blew them out today. They didn't score a touchdown. That's a blowout. And I'm surprised Deion Jones didn't uh, get an interception on Breeze. But let's go. We did it out there, man. They came out. They were trying to pull our face mask, but ripped their dude off. Michael Thomas was slinging the dude down to the ground. Like, they was really out here, like, playing dirty. And they, the least penalized team, and they got freaking penalized. Because they was, like, thinking, like, oh, we can get away with it. We at least put on our team. They are rivals. We're going to play dirty. And guess what? It cost them the game. It cost them. Alvin Kamara came out there. He didn't do nothing. Except for at the end of the game. All them other stats, all that bull crap was worthless. Like, Michael Thomas, most of them catches came from that last drive. But he balled out. Michael Thomas balled out. But they didn't do nothing. They didn't score no points, man. And the whole, like, the entire team, man. Shout out to Raheem Morris. Shout out to Dan Quinn, bro. The excitement I seen from Dan Quinn today was the most I ever seen him since he's been coaching for our team. The excitement of seeing the defense come together, the excitement of the team, the whole bond. Like you felt like they was out there together as a team. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's why I'm excited. That's why I'm still talking like this. This is what I've been wanting this whole time. They need to continue to play like this the entire year. We was one and seven. The Saints were seven and one. Now we're two and seven, and they seven and two. We can turn this thing around. If we literally win out, we can make the playoffs. Because obviously we gotta play more division games. We can keep. We can actually do this. Like if they keep playing like this, we can do this. If the defense keeps stepping up how they're doing, we six sacks in one game, and we had what seven all season. What I think that's what they said seven. But um, Adrian Claiborne, dude just balling. Grady Jarrett just, boo! And it's crazy because I just picked up the Grady Jarrett card in Madden. Grady Jarrett was balling out, man. 2.5 sacks, Big Beasley, 1.5. Okay, Devondre Campbell had that one. Um, Man, it was just, it was a great game, man. And shout out to the kicker, bro. Young Ho Cool, bro. Young Way Cool. However you say his name, bro. That man, Young Way, bro. Cool. That that dude balled out, man. Shout out to the kicker, bro. Four field goals. That man, he, he went off. He went off, bro. Forty eight. Uh, for his career, for his NFL. Um, uh, he what he kicked the longest in his NFL career. He beat all the field goals. Young guy, nice dude. I guess nickname we'll give him Kato. You know, what I'm saying from uh Green Hornet. I'm gonna call him Kato, bro. I don't wanna call him your whole way or whatever. Cool, I guess cool. I don't know, but we are gonna call him Kato, bro. That man, Kato, went out and balled out, man. Kato, the the kicker, bro, balled out, man. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody and their mama, it don't matter who it was, everybody balled out this game. Nobody, like, this is when I can physically see the entire team. You got to be like, okay, this person did good. This, every single person. So shout out to my boy. Matt Ryan, 20 for 35, 182, two touchdowns, one interception. Drew Brees. This is the first game, I think, this season Matt Ryan to get over 300 yards. So the Saints defense did kind of go crazy, but we had a more balanced offense. And we killed the time of position this game, man. We balled out. Um, we kept Drew Brees off the field most of the game, but Drew Brees somehow still threw the ball 44, 45 times. But um, Taysom Hill, that dude is a freaking maniac, bro. He's probably – the best athlete in the league to me. Um, so, yeah, man, it was it was a great game. And it feels good to finally see the team come together. It feels good to see Dan Quinn actually seem like he cared, bro, to see him actually coach. 
the the play calls in the first drive was some of the best play calls I've seen. He said a dirt cutter. I wish we would have had a touchdown because I'm like, oh my gosh, you're coming down the field once again after flying down the field to kick a field goal. But we really did what we needed to do, man. This is what the freak I'm talking about right here, man. Julio, good job. Um, just the whole team, man. You can't, I can't even see nobody out. But y'all know how I am about my boy Matt Ryan, so I had to sing him out and let y'all know that my boy Matt is a leader, bro. My boy Matt is here to stay. He balled out for what it was. That man, the field general they gave him in his game, he was a field general out there in his game. He was like, yo, what are y'all doing? Let's go. The whole game, if you see his face, you see him talking like, bro, y'all got to get together, bro. What are y'all doing? The offensive line protected Matt the entire game. The entire game. Did, did the Saints even get a sack this game? Let me see. Yeah, Demario Davis. Matt Ryan was sacked once this game by Demario Davis. The offensive line balled out, man. Against Cameron Jordan, who's who's supposed to be the person that sacked uh, Matt Ryan the most out of anybody like in Matt's career. Cameron Jordan has the most sacks on Matt Ryan. And it was a great performance. The rookie held this man, Cameron Jordan, bro. Let's go. Bro, 26-9, to nine, man. 26-9. And they were just saying, oh, man, it's over with, man. People at work talk about, man, y'all over with, man. Y'all, y'all might as well trade Matt. Like I said, guys, how is Matt the problem, bro? I don't understand. Even the commentators say it. If anybody was the most consistent on the team, it's Matt and Julio. And that's facts. The most consistent people that's been balling out this year is Matt and Julio. Y'all can say, like, oh, Matt, man, throwing picks or whatever, whatever. He, he, like, the average for touchdowns, the picks now is, is a lot better when it was in starting the season. And guess what? Before Matt got hurt, he was, what, number one in touchdowns and second in passing? But, oh, he, he's a bad quarterback. Like, you know, see what I'm saying? Like, how is it his fault when he's putting up and the defense couldn't do nothing. Now you see with a good defense and a, you know, a good offense, we can actually do something. They always talk about all that 28-3 against the 49ers, all the other bull crap, the Patriots. Guess what? Matt Ryan was scoring all of those games. Matt Ryan dominated all of those games. The defense was the one that gave up the points for them to lose in both of those games. Do you guys realize that? Cam Newton, when he went to the Super Bowl, he had the best defense in football. Patriots, the defense win championships. Come on now. What? When Big Ben won his Super Bowls, what the freak happened? The dude had Troy Palomalo, Lamar Willie, James Harrison, what, Ike Taylor. I don't know if Ike Taylor was going to see. All, all them boys over there in, uh, what, Saints? Guess what? They had freaking Bounding Gate to win their Super Bowl. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? All this stuff is counting down the line. Guess what? Aaron Rodgers, who I believe is the most hyped mother freaker in the league, but guess what? What has he really done? He has that ring, but guess what? He had the best defense as well. Clay Matthews, BJ Raji, Zumbo, and Charles Woodson, all them boys. Guess what? That was the best defense. I don't I don't know if it's like that on paper, but Clay Matthews and BJ Raji, all them boys was freaking destroying dudes. Because they had a heat, they had a defense. Russell Wilson, do I have to say anything? His second year in the league after he lost against us his first year. L O B, the best defense probably in the last decade. Well, not the last decade, but uh probably since 2010, maybe. I guess I can say the last decade. Wow, we almost in 2020, guys. L O B. The dude had the best defense in football when he won the Super Bowl. Now in 2012. We, I believe we could have did something, but we didn't, okay? If we'd have went against the freaking Ravens in the Super Bowl, we would have dusted them. I guarantee you. But anyway, man, back to this game. That was that was a great feeling, bro. I'm glad to see us coming together. I'm glad to see us ball out. And I was trying to – I was going to make a video for the game because I already was like, yo, Falcons fans, we good over here, man. People are going to think we're going to come in here and get blown up, but I just don't see us going out like that. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not. I don't just see this happen like this. It's always going to be like, Drew Brees will tell you himself, like, Matt Ryan gets a lot of hate for no reason. Like, if you go and look up the, what Drew Brees has said about Matt Ryan, 
He literally said Matt Ryan doesn't get enough credit. He gets a lot of hate for no reason. Every time they play against each other, it always comes down to a field goal or a touchdown. And now this game, Mr. Drew Brees, they lost. They lost. So shout out to my boy Matt, man. Maddie, mother freaking nice, bro. The ice man, man. That's my quarterback. That's my boy. And that's how it's gonna be. And um watching this game was, was very fun. It was fun. It was like it was tough because I was like, oh my gosh, please don't mess this up. I think when we had 13 points or something like that, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, come on, man. Like, I don't want this to happen like this. I was I was skeptical. But I had confidence once we started getting them sacks and start start going. When they had good field position, our defense was still stopping them. That was what I was talking about, man. Everybody stepped up. It was great to see the game. It was great to get that feeling to know that it's the Saints that we beat. And guess what? I keep trying to tell y'all, bro. The, the Falcons have the all-time record on the Saints. I hundred years in the NFL. The Falcons have beat the Saints more times than the Saints has beat the Falcons. So guess what that means? We are legit, and we that, and y'all not, bro. Y'all got the Super Bowl ring. I mean, if y'all want to take the bounty gate and y'all get in favor from the NFL because of you already know, y'all already know the story of the reason why they got that ring in the first place, bro. It's a sensitive subject, but I'm gonna leave that alone. All right. And if the Super Bowl wasn't paid off for the Patriots, it, even though everybody thinks it is, then whatever, whatever. But if Brady really did that, started to break, that's what he's a goat. But Right now, we should have had at least two Super Bowls in 2012 and in 2017. But I don't know what that 2017 was. That was some bull crap. I keep trying to tell everybody that. I, there's just no way that a bonehead decision for, to not run the ball and kick the field goal. But um, it's out of everybody, man. Like I said, Devondre Campbell, way to step up, bro. The dude was a clown on Twitter, but he actually put his money where his mouth is. And he stepped up. He finally did something. Casey, Ricardo, everybody did something this game. The backups, it don't matter who it was. Somebody's mom, like the girl on the sideline, the water girls, the the, the water boy. It don't, it don't matter. Everybody stepped up, man. The football cleaners, the, the dryers, the, the equipment manager, bro, that, that was on D-block. The dude stepped up, man. Everybody stepped up. The uniforms looked nice. The helmets looked nice, man. The shoulder pass, all of that junk. So um, I'll see you the next one. I can talk about this game the whole time, but I just want to let y'all know. I told y'all I had lost faith in Dan Quinn, but I said I never gave him on my team. Now, if Dan Quinn keeps this up, we can do a lot of stuff, bro. If he keeps up this energy and the connection with them and the team like this and the motivation and to want to do something, then I believe we can be unstoppable. Like, just straight up, honestly, this is what we should have been in the beginning of the season. So shout out to this whole new season stuff. Um, because guess what? What if we would have did what we did in 2016? What if we went 5-0 and or whatever it was and then lose the rest of the games? Guess who did that? Guess who stopped our streak back then? The Saints. We was 5-0. and We went, or 6-0. and We went against the Saints, and guess what? We lost. We didn't make the playoffs. So would you rather go... Six and no, and lose the rest of the games, or would you rather go one and seven and win the rest of the games and come back? You see what I'm saying? What's a bigger L? Starting off a great and being a dub, uh, being an L, or start off as an L and coming back on top with a W and proving everybody wrong like we should have been doing for the longest? Get these Saints out of here, bro. They can go marching back to the house, bro. We here, we that. And all that bull crap in the comment section, bro. Uh, shout out to uh, man, I forgot his name. I know I got some Saints fans in the comments, bro. Uh, but I appreciate y'all. Like I said, I respect Kamara. I respect Drew Brees. Drew Brees is a freaking amazing person. I told y'all, I always quote him all the time. It's about your team, it's your city, it's, it's about your home. And we proved that today, bro. It's about our house, and we took over. Y'all name Mercedes Benz Dome. We got a Mercedes Benz Stadium. We realize who the real Mercedes-Benz people are, bro. We took y'all stadium and ran with it, bro. Let's go. So we out here. Uh, we did it. Uh, 
and we coming for the top spot.